Shalom Akim, Mr. Yabat I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh Shem Shai. Double honor to the elders, great millstone, much love and respect to all you brothers out there doing the work in sincerity and truth, striving for the whole full leg, during all afflictions, and seeking out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakodash, Barakatam Akim. All right, um, before I start with the lesson, I just want to say, um, you know, I want to apologize to you brothers out there that watch my videos um, for not putting up videos um, as uh, frequent as before. Um, I do apologize for that, man, and it's been weighing heavy on my spirit. It's been going through a lot of things, and, uh, you know, just, just know that I'm still here uh, to, the, to the brothers out there that... Um, do uh you know look forward to you know watching the videos and being edified so <clears throat> you know lord willing you know i get back on track and uh you know and just to continue to edify the body the elect because that's who yahweh Hashem Shai is concerned with so this is Proverbs 6 and 12. It says, A naughty person, a wicked man, walketh with a froward mouth. He winketh with his eyes, he speaketh with his feet, he teacheth with his fingers. Frowardness is in his heart, he deviseth mischief continually, he soweth discord. Okay, and this is particularly, um, this partic particular scripture referring to this type of individual is somebody that we do not want to be, okay? You don't want to be found being this type of um, individual that is described here, having um, basically an evil eye. Um, he's speaking with his feet and teaching with his fingers. You know, he's, um, you know, you're going to know him by his actions, okay? And, um, and he's going to be moved by those things, being carnal, you know, and we know that um, the eye uh, represents the window to your mind, okay? So the mind can also, um, the eye can represent the mind as well, okay? And I'll bring that out here in the book of, um, the book of Matthew, okay? So it says, um, frowardness is in his heart, he device, deviseth mischief continually, he soweth discord. I want to look up this word discord before I go into the blue letter. Just right here. Oh. Let's see. Just look it up. From here first. Because it's straight to the point. It says this disagreement between people. Lack of harmony between notes sounding together. Now we know that when you're in the body. You're going to have. You're going to see eye to eye. Um, you're gonna have uh, one speech, you know, one spirit, one faith, one doctrine, one baptism, you know, one sp you know, one faith. Okay, um, that's in the, the body jointly fit together. That is that is spoken of in the epistles. Okay, that's that's what it is to be dis at discord, meaning that you're against that order. You're against the operation of the spirit. Okay. Oh, um, let me look. Let me click on see what else it says. It says a disagreement between people, the lack of agreement or on, har harmony between things. Uh, the lack of harmony between notes sounding together. So it's like you're just out of sync. You know, you're not moving. Um, you're not moving in the spirit of the rest of the the flock. You know, you're you're varying off to a whole different path when the flock is all going. You know, following the shepherd, where the shepherd is guiding them, you're just veering off to another path. You know, so it's the same thing as, you know, being in, uh, within a band, <clears throat> you know, an orchestra, and you're just playing a complete whole different note than that is what has been um, already uh, prescribed to you, you know, to, to follow. In this sense, the scriptures. Um, the verb, it says, of people disagree. Um, of things be different or disharmony, discord. Okay, so you look at here the origin. Um, it says uh, discordant, expressing 
uh, negation, reversal, uh, heart. Okay, so your 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 mind is contrary to the things that are already set. I'm gonna look up here. It says discord noun, um, strife, conflict, friction, hostility, disagreement, lack of agreement, uh, dispute, difference of opinion, discordance, disunity, and that's one thing. The the Yahweh Shai is very 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 um, meticulous about when it comes to brotherhood is that you have to be unified. Okay, you have to be constantly in sync with one another and in, in, in agreement. This and Yahweh Shai already gave us the um the blueprint on how to deal with the brother, you know, that is um that may have crossed you, whatever you you you, you um you get rid of that immediately and turn away from it and don't ever go back to it. Okay. And that comes with experience and it comes also with, you know, the individual that, you know, I, I just talked about this earlier today regarding certain things that are going on within my own personal life is that we all know that a group of people, when there's more than one people involved, there's bound to be problems. We know that versus, you know, if you're by yourself or you may have another per individual making two people, you, it's it's a little bit more easier, way more easier to control and to um, maintain versus having di all these different personalities, the different spirits, the different likes, you know, the different struggles and um, things of that nature. And but within that 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 group of people, everybody knows that they have an instruction, they have a certain blueprint they have a certain thing that they have to go by because if if we didn't have the scriptures we would be all out here in darkness you know so the only way those individuals within that group can maintain and function all right is by having a certain mindset if you don't have the mindset of being a team player of being you know um forgiving you know, squashing shit, not even, you know, just being a meek person, you know, discreet, quiet person and just letting the spirit work and just and, and appreciating that that group that you're you've been assigned with that you're with, you know, you're going to always find yourself being um, at, at discord and the most highs against that. OK, and. This this video is 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 also like you know I watched the video by the brother uh, Ariala saying having a loser the, the I forget the title but I know it said uh, having a loser mentality and what the loser mentality is basically you lack if you lack faith you know and you're 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 pushing a certain energy that is that doesn't need to be there you know and and it's true because when you have that kind of mentality around you it it discourages you you know it it and 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 being in the body of Yahweh Shai it brings in certain evil spirits you know and and this body is is supposed to be of of good courageous spirits full of faith you know and 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 living and in newness of Yahweh Shai Shai and you and none of us are going to be perfect. That's another thing. You know, the scriptures say, judge not thy brother, you know, but basically, you know, being, you know, not to be judging, especially if you're, you're not right. You know, you had to you don't want to be found no, being no hypocrite. Because if you ain't right, you got no business business trying to tell another brother or correcting another brother. For real, that's just that's what it is. You have no business correcting anybody if you are not right yourself. And you have to understand that. Okay. You can, you can, um, you know, preach, you can do certain things, but when it comes to certain thing in your mind, your spirit knows that you're, you're, you're going off in a particular area. You know, Romans tells you that the book of Romans tells you it. it the best thing for you to do is 
pretty much just just put your hand on on your mouth and tell the brother to pray. You have no business trying to tell no other brother because all it's going to result in is arguing because the spirit is not working in that kind of a vibration. We know that the spirit of Yahweh Bashimon Shai does not dwell in a malicious uh uh you know a malicious um in a body that's full of maliciousness, according to Wisdom of Solomon, chapter one. And give me one one second, brother. <clears throat> okay. Ah. Salakia. Okay. So that's what this court is. So let's go back. Hopefully it's making sense. It says, Therefore, verse 15, Therefore shall his calamity come suddenly. Suddenly shall he be broken without remedy. These six things that the Lord hate, yea, seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look, a lying tongue and hands that shed innocent blood. And heart that deviseth wicked imaginations, feet that be swift in running to mischief, a false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among brethren. Okay, and you have to understand that it some 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 individual people don't know that they're under an influence of a spirit, of a demon. Or another individual has planted a seed in you. You know, the mind conjures so much um, thoughts. And the Lord warns us of these things. That's why in my prior video that I made, it says, who, who, who shall set a scourge over um, my thoughts? Right? Let me see it real quick. Yeah, right here, Sirach 23 and 2. Who will set scourges over my thoughts and the discipline of wisdom over my heart? You know. So. You may not be. Aware of doing a certain thing, but brothers that are in the spirit that are watching. And it's becoming a pattern. You know, that's what it's becoming. And and, and you have to. Get out of that bullshit because eventually what's going to happen is that you're going to get kicked out. You're going to be exposed as that. Okay. The scriptures talk about, it said it right here, what the Lord hates. And heart that deviseth wicked imaginations, which in turn means you have an evil heart or an evil eye. Okay, because the scriptures say the whole head is sick, right? All Israel is sick, not meaning that they're just in poverty, but also mentally they're, they're they have bad and thoughts. Okay, and and you'll see it just just watch, you know, you'll see it just looking into the world, you'll see friends killing each other, man. Their group of friends or their their friend, their so called friends, right? Their friends they claim themselves to be friends, homeboys. But then they end up killing each other. They they turn their back on each other and because of their evil thoughts towards one another, their evil eye, whether it be jealousy, envy, or because it's a disagreement or a woman. You know that you you brothers know what I'm talking about. But in this sense, what we're dealing with is with with, with doctrine, the brotherhood, different personalities. Brothers may eat differently, brothers may you know, act different, speak different, dress different. Those those are things that are going to come with having a, a bunch of individual people within a group. You know, a brother may use a scripture to, you know, to, to uh, use a certain scripture to explain uh, a thought or a situation. Because we know that certain scriptures can be twofold, threefold, multifold, whatever you know. Because the, the the and what that means is that the scriptures are deep. It's not just this one thing all the time. It's not just for face value at, all the time. Okay. So you don't want to be found in this type of situation, a naughty person or a wicked man walking with a froward mouth. Okay. 
because everything starts where in the spirit so it's going to start from the top and come down and utter out of that box that chatter box and we know the tongue is an un, an unruly or un, uh, untamable member that's why we always have to maintain within the spirit of Yahweh by Shema Washai. Always. Constantly. There's, there's no other way. Because the flesh, the mind, the eyes, you know, like it says in 1 John, it's all contrary to the ways of Yahweh by Shema Washai, going back to Galatians. All right. The, the, the being in that type of. It, it don't always mean that you love material, you know. It's other things you, you, you are conjuring or you're uh, embracing. Okay, like the scriptures say right here, six things that the Most High hate. And they're an abomination unto him. A proud look, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood. All right, and, and, and you, you don't necessarily have to be out there murdering somebody. You kill, you're killing somebody by... You hating him by bearing false witness. All right. By, by being something that you're not. Claiming something to be that you're not. Uh, a heart that devices wicked imaginations, feet that swift that be swift to run into mischief, that you're quick to just want to get into shit. You're not you're not being wise, you're not being um, you know, temperate, falling back and just Maintaining, see what you got to do, analyzing things in the spirit, not within your own thoughts, because your own thoughts are, are are there to deceive you. You got always to maintain within the scriptures, and to um, that's your foundation, and the Most High will give you that discretion and the understanding, and to revolve around those scriptures to give you a broader understanding on how what you need to do next. And a lot of, I'm not going to say a lot of brothers because there's a lot of people don't use that, you know, they don't do that. They just jump off, you know, and we all do that. But when it comes to the brotherhood, it has to be completely fucking different, different. You have an, you have a problem. You ain't supposed to be always taking it with that problem. You, you got to check yourself, man, because the shit's unacceptable. It's, it's it's becoming a pattern already. The Lord knows our hearts. You know yourself. I know myself. And to be a good person is to acknowledge that. And to correct it and to shut the fuck up and know your lot. You can be in this thing 10 years. That doesn't make you top, top of the food chain, top of, of, of anything. Because your mentality determines how you're aged by through your wisdom. 10 years, 20 years is just a number. It's just a fucking number. What determines it is by your actions, your attitude, and how you conduct yourself within the body, not by your year, not by the number or who you were once with. Because you got guys that were kicked out, falling out, whatever. They start their own group or they, they, they have these uh, simple brothers or simple individuals that, that look up to them and they... They, they look at them as their leader and, you know, that, that you can't have that kind of mentality. You can't be like that. Expect, expecting to be at a certain level whenever things didn't work out that way for you to be at that level. And that's something that the Lord does. He, he's the one that promotes you and demotes you. Let me bring that up. Book of Psalms. <clears throat> Just 
bear with me brothers I can get this script real quick this is uh, Psalm 75 and 5 lift not up your horn on high speak not with a stiff neck okay and and, and that you don't want to be like that man you don't want to put yourself up in, in, a, in a position that you're not ready for you're not ready for it not everybody is meant to be a leader. Not everybody is meant to be opening their mouth or doing something. The best thing to do is to sit down and be quiet and appreciate with what you have and be a helper. Lift not up your horn on high, which represents your power. Don't lift, don't lift yourself up, right? Speak not with a stiff neck. Don't be proud. For promotion cometh neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. But the Most High is the judge. He put it down one and setteth up another. You see, that's plain. He's the one that promotes you or demotes you. Okay? And you know what the brother, you know, the elder Ariyala was saying. This is, It's very true, man. You know, you some brothers may not have experienced it within the camp, but you may have experienced it with friends or family, and you always have that one weak-minded person or that that person that is always fucking not beneficial to the body, to the whole household, or you know he's he or she is always like you're you're carrying extra weight, a ball dragging, you know you have wrapped around your leg and you're dragging it. You know, they're 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 constantly crying and, and 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 have no confidence, have no kind of faith. You know, that's that shit's that shit gets old, man. You know, that shit gets old. It 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 it, it it's weariness of the mind. You know. You know, I ain't gonna sit a certain individual in my life, a very close, a close individual. Every time I uh, hear from this individual or get a call from this individual, it's always something bad. It's always they need this or need that or 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 they're crying and somebody did this to them and 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 it's like that's the only time I ever hear from you. Is whenever it's something bad. It's never, hey, how you doing? What's going on? You know, I miss you. Can I, I'm gonna come visit you. Hey, let's go out to eat. It's never nothing like that. And what 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 did I have to do? I had to call him out on it. You know. And, and and it's not to be rude. It's nothing like that. It's, it's the point that it becomes weary. It's the weariness of the mind. You know, you, 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 every brother, every man out here in the world has experienced that good friend that they had, and they were, they talked every day, they called, and they're, they're laughing. You know, that's that's what the brotherhood is about. Not bitching and crying and arguing. Paul spoke of this. Yahweh Shai spoke of this. You know, because when that shit starts happening, other things start coming in, and it's hard to get out of that. You, you become offended, you know, you, 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 you don't like when the brother stood up for himself or your, his, your friend stood up for himself. You feel like he, he, he punked you or, you know, you start holding a grudge and shit like that because he punked you. He didn't really punk you. He just put you in your spot and told you what's up, you know, and you're taking it as, 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 as him being disrespectful or rude or. You know, not coming at you as a brother. Scriptures talk about open rebuke is better than secret love. You know? So these are the things you don't want to be. And these are the things that you don't want to have. These characteristics, these attributes. Because the most size against that. And he'll end up getting rid of you, man. 
get this one. I said I was going to get that one in Matthew. This is uh, Matthew chapter 6, verse 22. The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. But if thine eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If, def if therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness? Okay. So you want to keep your, 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 your temple, your body, your mind full of light, which is the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding the scriptures, man. Let's keep it simple. The scriptures is what keeps you full of light, pure. Having a, a, a sound mind. Okay. Using discretion, using judgment, having understanding, applying knowledge. Okay. Not bitching and crying and fighting with brothers or always at a disagreement with brothers and and hypothetically speaking if i had five brothers with me i'm by myself i had five brothers with me and there was a brother that always wanted to argue with me and i saw the pattern it was always constant constant i'm 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 not I, 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 you know, just like all of us, brothers, we watch people. We watch ourselves. We watch brothers. We watch our family. We watch our children. We watch for certain things to, you know, it's not that we're watching like being a fucking hawk, you know, or a predator. It's that we're just paying attention how you're, how you're moving, how you're reacting, how you respond, how you, you look at me. And I, I know certain things. You can tell by the eye. But the, the scriptures tell us this, you know what I'm saying? You, everything that I know is from the scriptures. And of course, through my experiences in life, you start picking up on this individual. And this individual is coming at me, arguing with me, and having a disagreement constantly. I'm going to have to call the person out and I'm going to warn him. If you keep doing this, you're you, you have to you're going to have to just go out on your own, man. Because other brothers are around, but brothers are seeing, they're witnessing, it affects their spirit. Because the scriptures say we have to maintain the flock. If you're a head of a camp, you have to maintain the flock. And that's what Ariala was talking about. You know? And those are the ones that that they 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 may feel like they're they should be in your spot or they have to be heard or they're gonna find. They're gonna speak up and, and be like, "Oh, well, you're missing this point. You, you forgot this point. Nah, it's supposed to be like this." And that's cool, but there's a certain way of doing it. There's a certain tone, a certain way you maneuver within that. That way, everything could be done decently and in order. It doesn't mean that you always have to shut up. When I say shut the fuck up and sit down, it means that because you need to humble yourself and be quiet and know your lot. Because whatever you're doing is not working. I'm going to read this again. Matthew 6 and 22. The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, that whole body shall be full of light. Meaning, what does single mean? Meaning, you're, you're, you're focused. Your mind is focused on one thing, one goal. And that's just making it. That's... And within that, just making it is that you're you're fulling, fulfilling the whole spectrum of being a man of the Lord. You're getting along with brothers. You know, you're not putting your first hand in everything, grabbing the fucking first, the, the, the food and the first scripture, the first everything. You're falling back. You're being humble. You're being discreet, quiet. Focusing on the on the brothers, the flock, the the the, the care of the flock. But there's a certain way of going about that. You can't be controlling brothers. You can't be telling brothers, hey, you need to be doing this, doing that. Hey, brother, why are you doing that? Hey, why are you saying that, brother? Why, why are you looking at that, brother? You can't be doing that shit. Every man is for himself. It's, it's, the scriptures say, seek out thy own salvation with fear and trembling. You start, you start dipping your hand in every single thing. That's where you start getting caught. You start being, you, you're going to get put, a spotlight is going to be put on you, man. It doesn't literally mean putting your hand 
in, into everything as far as like like Judas is scared. He put his hand. He was the one that put his damn morsel of bread into the the dip, right? The olive oil, and it was it was exposed. It's metaphorically speaking, putting your hand into every fucking thing, man. You know, and some people they they put more on their plate than they should, and when it was when it wasn't even supposed to be that way. That's why the Lord talks about stuff like that. Not, you know, I never told you to do this. I never told you to do that. Why you why you doing all this extra shit? I I told you what I gave you what I gave you, and that's it. Leave it like that. Now it comes in time the promotion the when you get a promotion that means more responsibility. You understand? It says, but if thine eye be evil, the whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in therefore darkness uh, be darkness, how great is that darkness? And that's plain. Because that darkness is what obscures things that are honest, that are good, which is the scriptures. Which is the thing that you're to be single. Your eyes supposed to be single upon. Focused upon. Not worrying about every goddamn thing. This is Mark 7 and uh, 20. And he said, That which cometh out of the man, that defileth the man. For from within, out of the heart of man, which is the mind, like I read in Proverbs 6, a wicked imagination, right? The, the mind. It's one of the things the Lord hates. Proceed evil thoughts. Adulteries, fornications, murderers, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness, an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness. All these evil things come from within and defile the man. You become defiled. That darkness starts to consume you and not realizing it. Not realizing it when it's too late. You want to keep, you want to keep a pure mind. You know, a hopeful mind, especially when it comes to brothers. The two thirds, it's different. It's a different story. It, the, the, they're, they're, those, 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 it's hopeless. It's they're doomed. When it comes to brotherhood, that's that's that lively hope that you're supposed to have within each within each other. Not always fighting, not always being at odds with one another. You know, that's unnecessary. That's unacceptable. Okay. And the brother Ariala is 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 right about that. I can see him eye to eye on on that because I would not fucking tolerate that shit. Eventually, I will. Sit, have counsel and get your ass removed or you know something's gonna have to be done some kind of change is gonna have to be made you know that's just the way it has to be um I had another scripture here let me see okay this is um the book of Sirach 31. This is going into a little bit what I was speaking about, not putting your hand into everything. This is uh Sirach 31 and 12. If thou sit at a bountiful table, be not greedy upon it, and say not there is much meat on it. You know, and that bountiful table is, you know, the brotherhood. You you blessed to be around multiple brothers, you know, and and, and you know you had to appreciate that, man. You know, and 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 you you see that brothers have a, a a merciful spirit. They're they're gentle. You know, some people take, um, you know, what is how's this the word the saying? They take, um, uh, uh what's how do you say it? Kindness for weakness, and then in return they start taking advantage of it. They start pushing it how far they can go, until. A brother snap, or a friend may snap, or a woman may snap, or a man may snap. You know, 
It says, um, If thou sit at a t at bountiful table, be not greedy upon it, and say not, there is much meat on it. You know, and, and that's how a wolf is, a, you know, a dog. You know, they'll, they'll come and they'll see all this food and they'll devour that shit. And it won't feel an ounce of pity. You know, they got their food. You know, remember that a wicked eye is an evil thing. And remember the mind is also considered an eye. Okay, spiritual. Remember that a wicked eye is an evil thing. And what it is. And what is created more wicked than an eye? Go pursuing the Jeremiah 17 and 9. The heart is wicked above all things, but that's really wicked. Who shall know it? Sometimes you're you're deceived, you're you're in a, a state of delusion or hypnosis, possession of not knowing what you're doing when it's too late. Therefore it weepeth upon every occasion. You know, you're bitching and crying about everything. You know, stretch not thy hand whithersoever it looketh, and thrust it not with him into the dish. See, and pull back, man. Fall back. Know your lot. Know that whatever you're doing is not working out. Just sit down, be quiet, learn from the brothers, you know, learn from the elders. Learn from your past mistakes and just be quiet. Sit down. The scriptures tell you that. Be quiet. It says, Judge of thy neighbor thyself and be discreet in every point. You have to be discreet in every point. There's a certain way of going about certain things. And there's also a time for everything. Sometimes it's, it's, it's just not, it don't need to be brought up. You just leave it alone. Leave that the Lord do. Appreciate the brother's time. Y'all are fellowshipping. Chill. You know. Eat as much. Eat as it becometh a man. Those things which are set before thee. And devour not. Least thou be hated. Because eventually you're going to be hated. Because a bountiful table was presented unto you. And you. Came as an individual that you didn't want. You, I spoke of here. Well, here, right here, Proverbs six: A naughty person, a wicked man, walketh with a froward mouth. He winketh with his eyes. He speaketh with his feet and teacheth with his fingers. Frowardness is in his heart. He devises mischief continually. He soweth discord. You know. You don't want to be found this way. It says, leave off first for manner's sake and be not unsatiable, lest thou offend. Okay. And that's a very important word, being unsatiable, meaning that you're greedy, you're unsatisfied. It's like a woman or a man, a couple. You know, it, happen, it can happen on both ends, a man's end or a woman's end. They're not satisfied with one another. So what do they start doing? They start fucking around. You know, a woman wants more dick. The the the, the woman, the man wants uh, more, you know, pussy. You know? And and then what happens? You, you, you start being distorted. You, you're, you're, you contract diseases. Women get uh, unwanted pregnancy. Left with the child, the dude burns off, and she has a bastard child. You know, because why they're insatiable. But it says leave off first for manner's sake. So you have to just be be mindful of of your surroundings, of the brothers. Check yourself. You know. And if you're you're incapable of doing that, then it has to be presented. You have to you have to speak to somebody.
It says, leave all first for manner's sake and be not insatiable, lest thou offend. See, and you don't want to be offending brothers. When thou sittest among many, reach not thy hand out first of all. A very little is sufficient for a man well nurtured, and he is and he fetcheth not his wind short upon his bed. Alright, so a man that is nurtured, a little a little a little is sufficient for him. You know? But if you're greedy, you're unsatisfied, you're insatiable, right? You you be you become getting it you, you becoming more involved in unnecessary matters. You become, you're putting yourself in all these different situations and, 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 and it just doesn't look good. Okay? So I'm going to look up that word, unsatiable. Unsatiable. It's lucky. Unsatiable. Uh, let me see. Hopefully it'll bring it up. Nope. Let's see. Let's see, satiable. Uh, capable of being appeased or satisfied. So if you have unsatiable, it means you're incapable of being appeased or satisfied. Um, it says satiable curiosity. And you can also have an unsatiable curiosity. Um, meaning that you're, you're veering into other things, unnecessary matters. Middling with different things, you know. I believe there's a scripture here. Let's see. Let's see here. Hmm. Thought it was. I thought it was here. It's middle. Let me look it up. Slack like your brothers. So come here. Middle. Let's see. Khan, this is uh, Sirach 11. I was looking at the wrong chapter. Um, Sirach 11 and uh, 9. It says... Strive not in a matter that concerneth thee not, and sit not in judgment with sinners. My son, middle not with many matters. For if thou middle much, thou shalt not be innocent. And if thou follow after, thou shalt not obtain, neither shalt thou escape by fleeing. Okay. So that was the one I was looking for, Salakia. Um, but Khan, you know, it. this scripture is... is you know, rebuke, exhortation, you know, whatever, however you you want to take it, um, you know. And it's just it's just something that you have to really consider, man, you know, and uh, just get off the gas, you know, get your foot off that pedal and just sit back in the back seat and enjoy the ride, man. You know, some some people don't need to be trying to take hold of the driver wheel and, and just, hey, let, let the ones that are in that position do that okay and there's certain things that i would have to do if i were to go to a brother to another camp 
if I'd had the opportunity, you know, <laughs> I, I'm not going to go into the brother's house and meet in the brother's camp and, and try to change and clean house or whatever. I'm going to sit back and enjoy the brothers and be thankful of the things that was given and provided to me, you know. And because you're going to you're going to have things, you're going to have brothers that come and go, you know, that's the in, inevitable. And whenever you do that, you give, you know, proper counsel and you just leave it. You know, you can't just be there constantly, you know, uh, in a brother's ear and, and, just, and just getting telling them and tell them this, tell them that, you know, because it, it springs up as it's agitation and it will develop into to strife and arguments, you know. Sometimes you just got to fall back and let, let the spirit work and just seek out your own salvation with fear and trembling. In the time being, you enjoy the brother's company and just move on, you know. There's nothing you can do. So with that, hope it was edifying. Till next time, I want to say shalom.